Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly add a background video or a normal video to your Webflow website using the Site Builder from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Webflow account as an administrator. So let me start from the uh, very beginning here. Let's go to our dashboard, click on this. So here's what the dashboard looks like for uh, Webflow. And from here, it'll actually list all of the registered sites for your account. So in this case, I have a dummy one and it's a starter site. So from here, you just want to make your selection and click on open designer. And what will happen is it'll redirect you to this site right here, where we actually get to configure and add elements to our Webflow site. So let's actually wait for it to load. And here we are. And the cool thing about this is there's there's a lot of flexibility with adding a background video to your website as well as a normal video. So here you can do um, resizing or you can have it as a background or a backdrop, I should say, for the layout of your uh, website's header or like the whole thing even, or you can display it here. So there's a lot of flexibility for that. And the cool thing about it is you guys don't actually have to use anything, any third-party apps like Elfsight, for example. Now, I will say that um, Elfsight does provide you with a video embed, as you can see here, where you could display a YouTube library or a Vimeo gallery. So either way, it really works. But because we're going to do one directly from our storage device, we just have to go to the site builder. So it's this one right here, as you can see. And the first thing that you guys need to do is we want to create a new container. So to do that, you guys would want to click on the plus icon. So it's this one right here. And then um, we're going to drag and drop a container to where we want the video to be displayed. So we're going to choose this this one right here. So let me get this out of the way first. And um, from here, we can actually resize it to whatever we want using um, this tab right here under size. So I believe this one comes with a paid plan, in fact. But um, for example, let's just do um, let's do 2,000. Here we are. Max height. Let's do. 1000 although i think this one okay so here we are okay this one actually makes the most sense so let's do this one real quick what's the default value let's just go with 1k okay so this pretty much looks like a uh, video box so here we are and we can have the aspect ratio set uh, set to widescreen which is 16 by 9 hit save and we're done so from here the idea is we want to click on the plus icon again and type down video. So here we have two choices being background video or normal video. So the choice is really up to you. Just know that if you were to choose background video, you can actually uh, overlay text or any elements um, above the video, which is pretty cool. So from here, you can upload a video directly from your library. So it can be anything really. So um, the choice is up to you guys. Or um, we can let's actually undo this one real quick. We can do video again. It's pretty much the same deal. The only difference is that um, with video, you can import either a YouTube link, as you can see here. So you can enter a YouTube link, give it a title. And what will happen is um, Webflow will work their magic and embed a video directly from YouTube onto your website. So this one is totally up to you. But the background video will directly come from your computer. And once you guys have made your changes, hit save and you're done. That's on to it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If it helped out, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.